Hey guys, our decline here, average picker. So most of the people that are subscribed to my channel um, are probably already well versed in the Medico M3. Um, but I do have a few viewers who are pretty new, um, and I do even have some viewers that I know of that they don't do any picking, they just kind of watch these videos and fall asleep to them. So I just thought I would take a moment and show the pins in an M3, because I think this is a really neat little um, lock and how it works. So this one is actually, it has six chambers in it, but I still have the first chamber pinned up, so you're only going to see five on the plate here. But our key pins, if we look at them, are basically like little wedges at the end, right? So where your regular pin would just kind of taper um, to a center point a little bit, uh, be a little bit rounded off, this is actually more like a wedge shape. Um, and you can see pretty quickly too, it has a small groove on the side of the pin. And plus there's a little notch there. And what happens is inside the chambers, that groove has to align with a little notch that allows it um, to then go up, right, into the chamber. Let's see if I can get this turned here, okay? So what that means is you actually have to turn these pins and the key, and I don't have a key for mine to show you, or I would, but if we, let's grab a key from a challenge lock here. These are all pretty, just kind of straight, angled in. Um, but if you were to look at this on a Medico key, these cuts would actually be made at an angle. And that angle is basically just designed to push on that wedge bit. And that causes the pin, when you're inserting the key, it causes the pin to turn, right? And because it's also applying an upward force on it, it'll turn the key until it makes an alignment with the little notches inside and it'll allow the pin to slide up. And I think that's just, it's just a really neat, I mean, it, that takes some incredible machining, I think, to make that little notch as well as to make the groove inside the lock itself for it to go into. But it's just also an incredibly simple little mechanism um, that you think would need to be far more complicated than it actually is. And I think that really makes this M3 kind of neat. I've not picked this one. I've never picked an M3 yet. This is what I'm currently working on. Um, I thought we just, since it's so different, they usually recommend that you progressively pin it. So you start with one chamber and get used to turning the pins and then work your way up. And so since I had the pins out, I just thought I would do a little video and show what they look like and how that works. I don't know what the little dimple there is for. Um, I don't even know if it, I don't know if it's necessary because there doesn't seem to be anything on the drivers that it has to interact with. Um, so if you know, you happen to know if that thing serves a purpose, um, by all means, let me know in the comments. Um, the other thing you can notice too is that they alternate. So the little notch they line up with are all on one side of the cylinder, but the notch on the wedges um, pretty much run right, left, right, left, right, left, all the way down. So if the wedge part is facing you, that little groove is cut on the left side. Well, on the first pin, it would be cut on the right side, on the second pin on the left side, on the third pin on the right side. Now, I don't know if that is normal for all of them, or if maybe some medicos have, you know, left, 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 right, right, right. I don't know. Um, but this, it seems a little bit too coincidental that this is all right, left, right, left, right, left, that it wouldn't be that uh, across all of them. But anyway, guys, there you go. I just wanted to show you that, what I'm working on. Um, for those of you that have never seen and happen to be subscribed to me, um, an M3 lock from Medico. It's a really neat little idea. Okay, have a good one.